there is a Japanese maxim better than a thousand days of diligent study is one day with a great teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes, in this day we have got at a time three international resource person. One is Mr. Michael Rebecca, and another is Jyoti Nail, maybe from India, my neighboring country. So respected resource person and all of my fellow participants from various countries all over the world. Assalamu alaikum, may peace be upon you and welcome to my presentation. This is Salman Hassan Biplop, member of Bangladesh Civil Service and now serving as senior fisheries officer under the Ministry of Fisheries and Livestock. The case study on impacts of earthen embankment on fisheries and boro rice production in the Haur region. This is the name of my case study. Please next. At first, I would like to say what is Haur. Haur is a Bengali word, but I would I try to define here what is Haur. Haur is a seasonal wetland ecosystem in the northeastern part of Bangladesh, which is a bowl or saucer shape floodplain depression. There are 373 hours covering 859,000 hectare area in Bangladesh, in our seven district only. During monsoon, Hawar received surface runoff from uh, surface runoff water from rivers and canals, which completely submerged under water and is used for fisheries. That means during monsoon period, this Hawar area is used fully for fisheries. But during dry season, Hawar became dry, dry land and is used to cultivate boro rice. That means we got two crops simultaneously from same land. During dry season, we got boro crops and during monsoon period, we got fisheries. Next please. Geographical location, seven Howard district in Bangladesh. First is Shunam Gons, where I posted actually. Hobi Gons, Silhet, Moli Bazar, Kishor Gons, Netraguna and Brahman Baria are located in the northeastern part of Bangladesh, maybe Jyoti know about the geography. The Hawar Basin is bounded by the hill range of India, hill range of India Meghalaya on the north part, Tripura and Mizoram of the south part, Assam and Manipur in the east part. This is the this are the province of India actually. Arden embankment. What is Arden embankment? I try to define here. Ring type eco-friendly made by local farmers with their ITK. Low height and completely submerged during monsoon period. We cannot create permanent because during monsoon period this land is used for fisheries. That is why it is impossible for us to create permanent dam. That is why we create low height and completely submerged during monsoon period. Only for protect boro rice from flash flood or only for protect boro rice. This is the embankment to protect only boro rice for monsoon, pre-monsoon period, pre-monsoon period actually, that occur from 1st April to 15 May. 1st April to 15 May, we have a flash flood because of the geographical location of the Howard region. After harvesting the boro rice, we open the inlet. We complete the boro rice, then we open the inlet open the inlet and cutting that I mean the certain distance for water interest in the hour to grow up fish and un uninterrupted migration as well as breeding. Water enter from river to hour, from river to hour during monsoon period because hour now is used for breeding purpose for fisheries. Next please. What is boro crops? Let's say another thing. Boro is winter season irrigated rice planted from November to December and harvested between March and May. Are uh, entirely single crops in the Howard area of the country. This is the entirely single crops in the Howard area. If one year destroy these crops, then it's difficult to survive the peoples of the Howard area because only one crops, this is the boro rice planted in the Howard area. Yes, yes. Why flash flood occur in the Howard region? This is the geographical region. Hilly topography and steep slope of the river draining the Howard area. This is 
electrophotography of the India, not my country. This is Bangladesh. This is India. This is the main reason. Another reason is world's highest precipitation is recorded in the Charapunji, more than 11,000 millimeter, Megalo India, which is triggered the serious flash flood in the Howard of Bangladesh. Another reason is river siltration, because day by day our river is river siltation increase, increasing. This, this is the main three reason of early flash flood in the Howard region. That is why flash flood occur in the northeastern part of Bangladesh, not others, others part of our country, only the northeastern part of Bangladesh flash flood occur. This is the main reason. Next graph shown production of boro rice and production of fish from 2011-2013-2017. Around the boro rice production is uh, 5.2 million metric ton, but during 2017 the production was decreased four times. The production was only 0 0.5, 0 0.95 million metric ton. What is the reason? In this year, we are not able to protect the earthen embankment. That is that is why this dam is very much essential for our. Uh, national production actually because from the how region we got for more than 12 percent boro, boro production that is why this earthen embankment is very much essential for how house people actually the production of positive impact got two crops simultaneously boro rice and fisheries from the same land eco-friendly made by the local ingredients soil and bamboo sea paste and create employment opportunity during uh, this period. Because Some negative impact made by soil from the countryside, countryside which ultimately goes to the river bed and met higher siltation. Migration of fish and other aquatic organisms from depression to river and vice versa. It is a very much uh, negative impact for this embankment because some of the fishes during pre-monsoon pre period, most of the small indigenous fishes of our country is the breeding season. That is why in this breeding season, fish cannot move frequently from Howard to river, river to Howard. That is why our species variety day by day decreasing. This is the main uh, negative impact, I think. Aquatic biodiversity declining and disappearing day by day due to this embankment. <laughs> Dressing and excavation or to maintain environmental flow, room for river. This is very much essential because we create. Uh, in the river side, we don't get, we don't get uh, enough land, enough room for the river to pass water. That is why room for river is very much essential. Then we are able to uh, maintain this. Design and construction is spillway. There is no spillway. Plantation and conservation of swamp forest. This is very much essential. If we create swamp forest, uh, then the dam will sustain year after year, I think. Few hours should kept open to conserve aquatic biodiversity. Due to this embankment, our aquatic biodiversity disappearing day by day. That is why we should keep some hour open. We have two hours uh, Ramshar site, included Ramshar site. One is Tangor Hour, and another is Hakaluki Hour. They are Ramshar site. So, so my recommendation, every sub-district, we have open one hour for aquatic biodiversity. Thank you. This is for no. this is the our hilly part. This is our in the dry seed, monsoon period. Two questions for me on the uh, yeah the first one is on the how these wares or these uh, embankments are constructed. Is it through community groups? Yes, yes. It's it, it's we have a PIC. PIC project implementation committee. It's made by the local farmers. Local farmers. Local farmers are the implementer authority, executive authority. The we, we government provides some money. Uh, they uh, we have form a committee by the local farmers. Okay. Local farmers. Okay. So these ones then okay. stakeholder engagement. I then uh, just a question on the fishery. Because I mean, the amount of uh, fisheries that's produced is a lot. I just want to find out the the amount of the fisheries. Is it more in the in the river stretches or in when it when when you open up the wares where 
Yes, where it's where a, I think it's a bowel shape. Maximum fisheries come from river to hawar okay. in the dry, in the monsoon period. So that's why they... Yes, it's a breeding ground, feeding ground is the hawar actually, okay. not river. Ah. All of the fishes, small indigenous fish of Oregon, to breed in the hawar okay. because hawar is a suitable place for breeding ground. That, yes, yes, that is why this bird is negative impact on the aquatic biodiversity actually. Another question? No, no, Thank you. Uh, I know it's coming to the end of the day, but everyone's had a chance. So, just a, a, any more questions for someone, and then we can close off the day. But we do to have some perspective from, on his presentation. Any other questions, any insights before we close? Can I come in, please? Yes, Josie, please. Thank you. Unfortunately, because um, we have uh, the presentation running off the, uh, the memory stick, and it's quite frozen here. Maybe we can do it. We can't see it. Hello, Jati. Hi. Can you hear me? We can hear you. We can't see you on, on yeah. the main screen, but we can see you on, I can see you on my screen. Yeah, we can see you. Okay. It's okay. Um, you have very nice presentation, the And uh, I, I'm very happy. I think I'm connected to this uh, area somehow. I don't know, but uh, yes, I do. Uh, this region is also very high growth diameter, and also very unique. I would say it's quite a good thing. It's very nice And now I get to know about how it is. It's very really interesting to learn about, and uh, I would just want to ask: these flashcards are actually uh, creating an issue for the winter crop, uh, or these are restricted to certain months? So, the flashcards are the two public units in the Otherwise, the uh, monsoon season we can easily explain what is between how and river. So the purpose of the measurement is to protect them in the crop. As I learned. This other embankment create only for uh, protect boro rice from early flash flood, pre monsoon flash flood actually. That's occur in uh, April to mid May. Okay. Okay. That's there is no another reason, there is not another purpose of this urban embankment actually, only for protect the borrow crops for early flash flood. There is no another reason, there is no other reason to create this embankment actually. Because we have got more than 11 percent of our total borrow production of our county, that is why it is a huge amount for us. It is a very fertile land actually because Thank you, Thank you. Monsoon is a dry season. Dry season? Monsoon, no. Monsoon is a dry season. No, no. The wet season? Wet season is a dry season. Yes. So winter is a dry season. Monsoon is a rainy season. Monsoon period. Yes.